Straw. So have you got your pencils ready? We have our paper and we've all brought our imagination. So off we go. I'm just going to change over my pencil so that you'll be able to see it on my, on my um, paper here. So keep it, your pencil work nice and light. The lighter you are with your pencil, the better it is for you. And here we go. We start off everything with a circle. Off you go. Remembering that a circles are the indication where the different parts of the body are going to go. Head, tummy, toes and hands. Here we go. We're going to leave a small gap there and we're going to put in an egg shape. Look at that on the side. See that? Off you go. Moving down, that's for the tummy. Moving down, we have one squash circle out here and another one on the other side. Now once we have done that, we're going to put in two more circles and that's where the hands are going to go. And they're going to go halfway down the tummy. There's one and there's the other. Now what we'll do is we'll join them all up so that at least you can see where we're going and then we're going to add in our detail. So just below the neck we're going to put in number 11, a curve line here and a curve line there. Now we're going to join these two squash circles to our tummy. We're going to have the outside leg there, there's one, and there's the other. Then we're going to go over this side, and there's one curve line, and there's the other. Off you go. Now once we've done that, these are where the hands are going to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring it around the shoulder, bring it around and stop it just there and then we have a little curve line for the inside of the arm and stop it just there. Now we're going over to the other one. We know where it starts but we can just see where it comes out, bring it around and stop it just there. That's the outside and there we have the inside. See that little curve line just there. Now I always like to start at the top and move down. But we want to get the centre of our character's face. And how we do that, we, you all know your ABCs and your 1, 2, 3s? This is where your ABCs and your 1, 2, 3s and art all come together like one big jigsaw puzzle. Watch this. Up the top here we have N for North. Down the bottom we have the slippery slide, we have the South Pole. Over here we have the Windy West. And straight across there we have E for East. Off you go. North, South, East and West. Well, now we're going to do a broken line from the North all the way down to the South and stop it just there. Loads and loads of number ones. And from the Windy West we're going to bring it across to the East side and there we have it. Where the two lines meet becomes the centre of our character's face and that's where we find our noses, noses, do you suppose? That's where we're going to find our noses. Now, what we're going to do is this character has a snout, so we're going to put in a circle here. Off you go. And to join that up, we're going to start it here, bring it out and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Now, we're going where the eyes are, okay? But first of all, um, to get the eyes, I'm going to put one there in a U shape. Okay? Off you go. We're going to put in the eyebrow. And then we're going to go to the other side. Watch this. And we're going to put in the other eyebrow. Starting up the top, I'm going to change my black felted pen. You hold on to your pencils. And here we go. If you make a mistake, you can use your erasers to rub it out. We're going to start at the top. 
Coming in, we're going to bring it up, follow the circle around and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Once again, we're going to bring it up, we're going to bring it down, follow it into the eyebrow all the way around and stop it just there. I do declare and stop it just there. Now over here, I'm going to put in the ear, bring it out, little wibbly wobbly, bring it in and there we have the ear on. We have a little curve line there to show the inset of the ear. Now we're going over to the other side. We know the other one is there, but we cannot see where it begins. And there's the other one. Moving down, we're going to put in the other eyebrow there, bring it across and stop it just there. Now we're going to put in the eye. Remember, you can always change. There's one and there's the other. And the two eyes are quite close together because they look as though they're trying to focus on something. There's one pupil and there's the other. But before we continue on down, this cartoon character has little horns. There's one and there's the other one. Now, moving down inside the eyes, we're going to put the reflection of the light. There's one and there's the other and with your pencil you're going to shade that in. Look at that. So he does look a little, his two, uh, his two pupils are coming together. Okay, now we're going to follow this out. But we're going to continue, follow it around the circle, leave the circle a little bit. Then we're going to bring it in and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Now we're going to put on the little snout, there we go. We're going to put in the nostrils, there's one and there's the other. We're going to finish off that side of the face, we're going to bring it down and bring it out and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Now we're going to finish off the bottom lip, we're going to bring it down little bit of a chin, bring it up and over and stop it just there. We're going to join it up there with the head, bring it down, leave it a little bit, bring it around and there we have the head almost complete. Last but not least, we're going to give a little curve line there for the, the cheek line. Here we go, he has two little teeth, well they're quite sharp, there's one and there's the other. Now moving down, we have our curve line here and our curve line there for the neck. This arm here, we're going to follow it all the way out and stop it just there. And that's the outside of the elbow. And now we're going for the inside. Bring it down and stop it just there. All the time what's happening is, I'm going to join that up there. All the time what's happening is we're bringing together the two two sections of the body. Same on the other side, bring it down, leave the tummy there and we have it there. Now cartoon characters have three fingers and a thumb, but you can't see this little cartoon character's thumb because they're in behind. So we're only going to show one little finger, two little fingers, three little fingers and no more. Who's that knocking? At the door. Now the other one is in behind there. You draw, only draw what you can see, one little finger. Two little fingers, three little fingers, and no more. Who's that knocking? On the door. Now we're going to bring it for the neck. We're going to bring it down, curve it. That's for the tummy. And let it go under the armpit on that side. And we want to show that there's a little bit of um, contrast on the tummy. All the little curve lines down. Now here we go down this side here. We're going to bring it down, follow the back down, oh, follow the back down, let it curve in and then bring it out and around and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. And the same underneath. We're joining up there. There's one leg and there's the other. Bringing the tummy together, bring a curve line over and stop it just there. Now we're going to continue on the little, I always like to call it a little tummy bib, bring it around and a few little more lines there. Lazy number ones, can you see that? 
Now we're going to follow this foot, bring it around and back up. We want to see a little bit of the sole of the foot. And there we have it. Finishing off the tummy in there. There we go. Curve it around and stop it just there. Now we're going over to the other side. Follow that up and around. We have a little curve line there. And there we have his other foot and his other leg. Now, this little cartoon character has spikes on the back of him. Have you guessed what he is? Watch this. We're going to bring them out all the way and back in. And have you guessed? That's right, he's a little dragon. And a little dragon has little wings. Look at that. Bring it down. There we have it. And the same on the other side. And there we have our little dragon. Now our little dragon is fluttering there in the air. Okay, so we want to show movement. So we put in some movement lines. And that tells us that our little, little um, dragon is hovering in the air. Now we want to put over here. I wonder what's wrong with him. Oh my goodness, this is why he's trying to puff out, but he's only getting smoke out of his little nostrils. Now we're going to put our little character somewhere and we want him to be floating up in the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a castle. There's one and there's the other. They're like eyes closed if you look at it. But look at this. If you do this, bring it up. There's one. And there's the other. Now we're going to curve those lines down there. There's one. And there's the other. And have you guessed? That's right. That's the towers of the castle. The castle door. And has the gate overhead. Look at that. And of course then, doesn't they have a bridge? Put the wooden bridge in. Okay. But the reason why they have the bridge is because around the castle there is a moat. And the moat is to keep out. I think they're trying to keep out the dragon, but I don't think they're going to succeed because he can fly. Put in a few little windows. Just put in a little brickworks. There's another little window there. And then that side. Show sure that's all bricked up. Look at that. Keeping them all nice and safe. Okay, now we're going to put in the horizon line behind. There we go. If the dragon is in front of, we'll bring it across. We're going to see now the rolling hills. Look at that, that's in behind the castle. All right. There we go. And then we're going to have our little pathway. Watch this. And all the time, what we're doing is we're building up our drawing. Now, we want to show that he's floating in the air. So we put like that. Like he's up on the top of the hill on there. We have little clouds. And maybe a bird or two. And not forgetting the sun. Okay. Now. What we're going to do here, we have that all done. We're going to get our colours. And I always like to start off at the top and move down. So at the top, of course, we have the sun. And once the sun is out, it reflects on everything. See that? And I like using crayons because you can, they last for ages. And I bring a little reflection of the sun on the castle there. And the tops. Not too much, even on our little dragon, because the sun is out. And his little arm there, and his wing there, maybe the tip of that one. There we have it. Bring it down onto the ground. Just a few little squiggles there. I'll show you that in a minute. Now, we go for the sky. And as you can see, I'm using the side of the crayon. 
So you may have twistables or you may have paint. So whatever you have handy to you. Bring it all the way across. Remember the sky looks as though it tips the ground. You see that one is in the distance. Now we have our mountains. Remember it's a cartoon character so you can put in any colours you like. There's one on that side and there's one on that side. And maybe that's where he lives because I'm going to give him purple um, wings. Look at that. And you see I got a little bit heavier with that. No. Okay. Now we're going for um, the castle is grey, so I'll we'll pick up some of that. Put on some grey because it's always made of brick, isn't that right? Across there. Same on the other side for the towers. And all the time, boys and girls, we're 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 getting um, building up our drawing and our paint and our colouring in. Okay. Our little dragon, I'm going to give him a nice um, pink, if I can find a nice pink that'll stand out. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at that. Bring it all the way down. Remember boys and girls, there are no two artists the same. Every artist is different and that's what makes us all so unique. Follow it all the way down, but then you see I'm getting a bit darker. See that adding in a little bit of shading on the body. There's the left front arm, and here's the right one. Once again, getting a bit darker. Look at that, adding in some shading. Down onto the leg. Now you'll have more time doing this and you'll be able to take your time and really enjoy it because that, that's one thing about colouring in your cartoon characters that you can take your time. And there's the other. Once again, add in some shading where the light isn't. See that? Now, we have Puff the Magic Dragon. I'm going to give it a little bit of purple there for the look, just so it stands out, look. Not, don't forget his nostrils, Tina. Get the nostrils in there, look at that. There we have it, on the other side. Now, we're going down now to the, um, the back of um, our dragon there. And we'll give that a different colour. I'll give it an orange. That's why with all these cranes you can have different colours. And when you put one colour over another as well, it gives you a different colour. Straight down into the tail. All the spikes at the back there. Wait now, Tina, just finish off the tail here because you don't know where it's going. Look at this. We're going to bring it out. See that? There we go. Now starts in behind there. That's what I mean about that you're able to um, add in all the other little pieces that you feel you're missing. Follow that down. And they always seem to have a narrow shape at the at their tip, isn't it? Okay. And here we go for the ground. Bring it all the way across. See the way the yellow comes through there? That's good, that's what I was looking for. A little bit of green in there, like there's moss growing in the, in the uh, moat. Now this is where two colour greens meet, see that? Wait you see what we do here. Pick a different shade, and there one stands out, see that? Because this is the one that's closest to us, so it'll be a little bit darker. bit of clay underneath so we're looking for a little bit of brown and 
add in some shading there our wooden bridge there we go castle casting a shadow there put in some there look and all the time what we're doing is we're building up our little wee drawing here um, and then we have some grey the pathway and there we have our little confused dragon so don't be shy and give it a try until then bye bye